Good morning everyone and welcome to another Disney Brownie video. Today we're in the Studios Park in Disneyland Paris. We're going to take you with us, show you basically the rides, attractions, meet and greets, um, shows, lots of things that we're going to do here in the Studios Park today. First of all we've definitely got to say a massive goodbye to the Walt Disney Studios Studio One because it's actually going to be taken down in the next sort of couple of weeks. I'm filming this in March 2024 and I do believe by April 2024 it's going to be taken down. We're going to head to some footage now of Studio One just as a bit of memory really you know to just enjoy the last moments of walking through Studio One and then we're going to get to everything we're going to do in today's day at the studios as I say from rides, meet and greets, shows, whatever we can get up to here in the Studios Park. Remember if you like our videos definitely give us a like, subscribe to our channel it really helps. So let's get to the footage of Studio One and then the rest of our park day. Let's go. Stop here, Avengers Campus. We're heading in extra magic time straight to the Web Slinger ride. So, this is all the Avengers Campus meet and greets here, Pim Kitchen ahead, and we've got a flight force uh, further down there. And this is Web Slingers, so we're going to head on that as the first ride. I hope we're lucky because often when we do go on that ride, it actually manages to break down. <laughs> so fingers crossed it doesn't today. Extra magic time, looking at about a five minute wait. This part isn't actually open during extra magic time. Wet vision targeting glasses. They'll help you find all those rampant spider bots.
realised I was about to slip. Whoopsie! I've done a lot of slipping around the tracks. Oh, I have, haven't I? Lots. Actually, that's even worse. Awesome. It's because, sadly, folks, it's been raining quite a bit, so the ground is very wet, very slippery, and I'd, I even have snow boots on with lots of grip. But anyway, never mind. I so, prime my trainers. Well, yeah, exactly. Your Primark trainers are doing amazing, to yeah. be honest. Emily, the last few trips, she's actually used Primark pumps, and they've been great, haven't they? Your Disney ones, and the other ones. I love it. Anyway, so just being on Web Slingers, amazing, as always. <laughs> Me and Emily do yeah. better than Emily's dad, don't we? Yeah. My dad's yeah. on, like, no. 100,000. We were in the 200. Yeah, we did all right. Well, as you'll see from the footage, um, it's really, really good. So in this video, obviously I've already mentioned that we're gonna do a day in the studios park, take you along with us, but I'm definitely gonna give you some really top tips. So keep watching through the whole video because there might be something that you miss if you don't watch it all. So we've done web slingers. That's definitely a top tip. If you want to do either web slingers or watch that great Emily, cause it's slippy. Um, if you want to do web slingers or crush, you have to pick which one and then go to that because those are the two biggest rides. If you want to do Crush, I'd always recommend going yeah. there first, then Web Slingers. Absolutely. We don't really like Crush to that degree. I'm not really a massive fan. In fact, after this, I'll pop some footage in of when we were in the Crush queue, oh. that other trip that we did Crush, and our opinion on it. So I'll pop that in just so you can get to see a little bit around Crush and what our thoughts are. If you want to do Crush, definitely head there as your first ride. If you're not keen, do Web Slingers. Web Slingers still gets a really big queue later on in the day, but not quite as much as Crush. And you can do a single rider. Yeah, you can. Can't you, on Web Slinger. And you can on Crush, but they're really... Yeah, but I think if you've got a family, I think the Web Slingers ride is more likely to be something that you do a single rider on, because you might even get kind of in the same yeah. thing. But Crush might be a little bit scary for little ones on the road. But if you're travelling as adults and you're watching this video, then Crush is a definite one first, or Web Slingers. So now we're going to head, this is our plan for today, our little strategic plan. We're going to head to Parachute. Yeah. Which you won't be doing. I will not be doing this ride because I hate it. It's very it's similar not, it's to Tower of Terror. Ride. It's not a baby ride. Yes, it is. I hate it. it. Absolutely hate it. And I have done Tower of Terror before, but I'm not doing it now because I'm too scared. I've done it once on my own and I sort of thought never again. Um, but Parachute Drop is an amazing ride oh, for people that love heights, love going up and down. I hate it, so not for me. But Emily and her dad are going to go on it. I'll try and get just some footage, a little bit of the ride. Um, or maybe Emily or her dad might take this DJI camera on with them and get a bit of footage for you guys. We're just coming up to Crush now. the crush ride I'll pop in here some footage now of when we were in the queue before on our other trip when we did crush and then after that we'll get to parachute drop and then let's see where the rest of the day takes us right so we're just queuing outside of the Walt Disney Studios um, but we're quite near the front of the queue so we're gonna try on um, to do crush but yeah this is our view a massive dash for it we'll be really brave and we're gonna do crush oh my god so we're scared. a five minute wait so we're quite Parachute drop, so wait time is just five minutes in extra magic time. 8.50 and Emily and her dad are going to go on this.
is all the Toy Story Playland. This is during Extra Magic Time. And Emily and the dad love the parachute drop that much, they've gone on again. I mean, really, when you're only looking at a five minute wait, this ride can get really big queues. You can do it as a single rider, but obviously, it's a lot more fun when you're with your family. Um, so, they've decided to go on again. Why not? As I say, a five minute wait time still now in Extra Magic Time. So, this is the RC Racer ride in the Toy Story Playland. Emily's dad has uh, decided to go on it. He's been on it before, but many, many years ago. Me and Emily, it's definitely not for us. I would do it, but I just, it's just a bit too high when you're coming down backwards. Oh, there, there is no way. I mean, to be honest, I'll have lost the plot if I decided to go on that. It's going backwards can you, for me. Can you imagine how much I would scream? Yeah, it's just like that bit going backwards. Yeah, no, definitely not. However, it's literally a five minute wait. So we're on about nine o'clock now. So five minute wait. Not for you. No way. No, definitely not for me either. It's just going oh backwards. my word! He said he hadn't done it for years. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a reason why. <laughs> yeah, probably. Whoa, you joking me? No way. So our next stop is the Ratatouille ride. Single rider is what we're going to do because it's only five minutes. That's definitely a no-brainer when you can get on in five minutes rather than waiting for 20. But for young children, obviously you'd have to wait as a family. 20 minutes for that queue or five minutes on a single rider. You ready, Em? Five minutes. So it just means you go on a separate car, but sometimes you're actually in the same one. So it does just depend. Glasses, 3D glasses. Sometimes we've been on the same car, haven't we? Yeah, so sometimes Emily's in the front, I'm in the one behind. So it just does depend. Okay. You alright, Em? Putting our glasses on, ready to go. So Emily's behind and I'm in front. So the single rider definitely works. Five minutes and we're actually in the same car, we're just not right next to each other. So let's go. anywhere so it should be about five minutes Many other trips. It's such a 
good ride. So we'll see you when we get on it. Just a five minute wait for this ride. It's a really cool ride, we love it, don't we? So let's get going. Here we go. Look at the cars behind. Centre, training centre meet and greet is really amazing it's really really cool we actually met Captain America there on one of our trips previously it was really really amazing um, I'm gonna show you some footage of how I got onto the app what how I followed all the information to actually get this meet and greet so today we're actually meeting spider-man so it's 10 o'clock now I've left Emily in the Olaf queue while I was just um, sorting on my phone the Marvel meet and greet obviously I've shown you all that footage already so I did that while I left Emily in the Olaf queue now Olaf is meeting um, near the Frozen show um, I'll show you in a minute in terms of the, the footage so that you can see exactly where he's meeting but Olaf doesn't meet until 11 but the queue line gets cut really really quick we've met Olaf before he's an amazing meet and greet however as I say it's really busy and often if the queue line does get cut really really quickly so it's always a good idea to get in the queue line as quickly as you can now we've turned up at 10 o'clock I left Emily there as I say but basically um, when we got there the roped area was actually roped off so it's like you can't queue any earlier um, I went and asked the cast member and the cast member said you couldn't queue until half past 10 but that just means the ropes are not open to go queue but I definitely recommend doing what we're doing which is standing outside the roped area which as I said I'll show you when I get there and um, basically just so you're there so that when they do open the roped area to let you in for the queue line you're there you're going to be first in line so as I say I left Emily there about 10 when we've done all the rides and things he's not queuing he's not starting to meet until 11 but obviously and I appreciate that's an hour but in all fairness the queue line will probably be cut within 10 or 15 minutes of opening it so it's definitely worth worthwhile getting there as quickly as you can so I'm going to show you the area and then we'll get to the Olaf meet and greet so this is the area here that you meet Olaf so I'll just show you the board there so he's meeting from 11 until 2 30 and as I said this was the rope here that was roped off but now the queue's actually open so this is where Olaf is meeting in the animation celebration building which is basically the big blue hat um, Olaf is meeting here and at the side is the uh, academy drawing um, session thing that they do here so that's at the other side and then also the frozen show is attached further around the corner so this is the building that you need to be at which as I say is the big blue hat you can just see there So this is the building from the outside. Still got Peter Pan and Wendy up there. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this building to be honest. I presume everything's going to remain the same. 
I think it's just the uh, studio wall which is just opposite which is what's going to be demolished very very shortly so yeah just opposite studio one here's the big blue hat and that's everything in there from the frozen show to well the frozen show is actually at this side but it's all part of this building then at the other side you've got the Olaf meet and greet and then you've also got the animation drawing and there's the shopping side as well so while me and Emily waited in the Olaf queue Emily's dad went on the Hollywood Tower of Terror such an amazing experience in that ride it really really is it's cool theming such a good ride if you love things like that obviously if you're like me and you get pretty scared on rides like that probably not for you but I have done it before um, I've only done it once and I don't think I'm probably ever gonna do it again I wish I could do it again because the theming of it is absolutely incredible and um, it's such an amazing theme it really is cool but it's just a bit too scary for me guys so but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a photo because we had a photo pass uh, quite a few years ago when I went on the ride and the photo pass picture was absolutely hilarious so I'm gonna pop that in next for you to all have a really good laugh of me probably my only time my one and only time on the Hollywood Tower of Terror well I hope you really enjoyed that I hope you've had a really good laugh um, I thought that was hilarious the lady next to me um, she just laughed the whole way through the ride when I did that um, because she just thought it was hilarious my reaction of me screaming all the way through it but as I say really cool cool theming cool ride if you like that sort of thing so definitely go to that first thing on the morning usually the wait time's not too bad and late on the night is not too bad as well so Emily's dad tends to do that when we're in queues for other things so we're heading over to the Avengers campus now um, I just thought I'd say Olaf meet and greet absolutely amazing love it I do feel that meet and greet though is always a little bit rushed so in some, some meet and greets are really good in the sense that you get a lot of time with the characters. I do genuinely think that that one isn't quite like that. It's really cool to meet Olaf, obviously, but it is a little bit rushed. So just bear that in mind. You know, try and take your time a little bit more so you get a little bit more time with the characters. We do tend to try and take as many sort of photos and bits of video while we can. So I hope you enjoyed that footage as well. We're now heading to Avengers Campus and we're going to go get some lunch in the Super Diner. Had a fun morning? Yes, we had a fun morning. Ah, oh, good. So, a flight force there just ahead. A training centre there just to the right. This is all part of the Avengers campus. So the super diner which we're going to for lunch is just to the right hand side to the end of the park so that's where we're going to head to next. Giving Super Diner a try for the very first time. So I've ordered a shawarma pizza wrap kind of thing. And I've ordered it. a Yeah, exactly. Because there's not an awful lot on the menu, really. Either. But I've heard really good things about this, so I really hope that it'll be lovely. And this is inside the shawarma wrap. Looks really nice. Looks delicious. So this is the Choco Blast.
see just there what I would definitely say about the meet and greet times on the app because I was looking at the times and I was thinking that she was going to take a break I think they're just short breaks because there's a big break between lunchtime and about three o'clock so we were thinking we'd have to wait in a queue line for quite a long time until she came back but she didn't so we just joined the queue a little bit earlier than anticipated so definitely come along to the meet and greets don't just look at the app times come along to the meet and greets because as long as they haven't actually closed the line then hopefully you'll get to be able to see them you know as soon as you can um, and certainly maybe sooner than you think thank you Jessie so much lovely to meet you bye <laughs> thank you Oui, vous attendent. So now we're going to do the Cars Road Trip ride. It was showing five minutes on the app, but it's now showing 15. Ooh. What do you think, Em? 15. No, I don't think it is, you know. No, me Because it, it does go really quick. Usually I would say never do this ride unless you're only waiting five minutes. Because, although it's good, I don't think it's that good to wait too long but we'll see we'll see when we get down there thanks Sally I'm so excited to check out Rick 66 with you I'm ready to meet it read it and read it oh cruise sur la route 66 on prend son temps et on s'abandonne au plaisir de rouler oh right Oh, Naganat, this big! I must be dreaming! Pinch me, Guido! Okay! The Kirsi is The route! Merci! All right, everybody! We're making a short scheduled stop here in the canyon. Please remain seated and keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle. Thank you for your patience. Now, let's go to the next stop. Thank you for your patience. Now, let's go to the next stop. Thank you for your patience.
unfortunately you can actually film in the theatre. I mean I say unfortunately, in all honesty I can completely understand why you can't film actually in the theatre. It would spoil the whole experience of it. Last um, we've done some like rides. Yeah, the ones we did like earlier, a like parachute drop, Ratatouille. Yeah, they're all the kind of same rides. Um, but we went on them another couple of times, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What do we do? Sorry, um, Ratatouille. Ratatouille, the cars ride, parachute drop. Oh yeah, funny thing. Well, it wasn't funny on the cars ride. Yeah. Cars ride, as in the spinny cars rally ride, whatever it's yeah. called. We went on that another couple of times, didn't we? But what happened then? Um, well, we might as well perch ourselves here, near Mickey. Someone left their bag. Oh! <laughs> someone I left... nearly missed the benchy part then. Uh, oh, Never mind. Um, someone left their bag and they had to get like a dog and stuff to start sniffing it. Yeah, cool. So that was fun. Yeah, so there was a bit of a delay on there, but we decided to wait in the queue. I mean, in some ways, really, you should probably always leave the queue in those instances because you never really truly know what's in that bag, do you? Oh, yeah, we didn't. We just thought, well, we might only have to wait five minutes so we'll get on the He said just wait. He did. Yeah, yeah, he did. So, yeah, we had a bit of an experience in there. So, really, all we've done is lots more rides that we've kind of this morning because it's supposed to be wet weather coming up. Yeah, we just wanted to get those rides done, really, because we're not sure when we're going to come back to this park. We might do it tomorrow, but we're not entirely sure. So, even though we've done a quite a few rides quite a few times, it's because we chose to do that, we wanted to do that. I hope we've given you some useful information and lots of fun along the way in this video. We're actually saying goodbye to Studio One over there. Wow, goodbye Studio One. Because it's not actually going to be here for very much longer. It's going to be gone. As I said at the beginning of the video, wave by at the very end of the video I'm late. But thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe to our channel here at Disney Brownies. Weekly video, every week, every Friday at 4 p.m. Lots more Disney content coming your way and lots on our channel already. So all we're gonna do is gonna wave bye to Mickey and Studio One. So definitely keep watching as we wave goodbye to Studio One and Mickey. Are we ready for it? Let's go.